Silent Hill is regarded as one of the scariest game series of all time. Psychological tension, emotional storytelling, monstrous… Uh, monsters. But what are the scariest moments in the main Silent Hill titles? It was a challenge for me to choose, but this is my scariest moment from every Silent Hill game. That's one screwed up town. Silent Hill, the alleyway. What is this? Players of Silent Hill in 1999 were put into a state of shock within the first few minutes of the game. In the introduction we chase our daughter Cheryl and, eventually, to an alleyway which demands our attention and makes us feel more uneasy in the first few minutes than most horror games can hope to achieve throughout their entire story. Immediately things feel off, but it's more than just tension at this point. A siren can be heard and the world around us begins to change, getting darker, adding elements of a hospital in the alleyway, until we reach a hanging open corpse. What is this? What I love about this iconic moment is it leaves you with so many interesting questions, and the more confusion there is, the more vulnerable we feel, which is the perfect time for us to then be attacked by some little grey monsters. <laughs> Silent Hill 1999 has so many scary moments, but this moment set the standard for the entire franchise, in an alleyway that we'll never forget. Silent Hill 2, that red pyramid thing. The town of Silent Hill 2 behaves differently for our main man James than most other protagonists. His world is his fears, which means us as the player feel a bit lost as to what's going on. Vulnerability is the driving force here. Within Woodside Apartments in Silent Hill, we hear various noises, from footsteps to people shouting from the floors above. On our way through the narrow corridors, we encounter none other than Pyramid Head. This is the first encounter with Pyramid Head, and whilst we fear him for being the large executioner he is, it's equally as terrifying just watching him stand there behind the bars, doing nothing. He's just standing there, menacingly! There's a lot of creepy moments in Silent Hill 2, but this first sight of P-Head is just too intense for me to forget. Click subscribe or the bunny gets it! Did you do it? Silent Hill 3, Mannequin Decapitation. Silent Hill 3 is a master at making tension go from 0 to 100 incredibly quick. The scariest example of this for me is in the mannequin storeroom. Here, Heather finds mannequins where only one has a head. It's so quiet and dark in this room that this specific mannequin staring at us is already intimidating. But turning the corner only makes matters worse. After hearing that, we go back to find the only mannequin with a head has now been brutally decapitated. What's scariest for me about this is that's it. You don't know if you should freeze and wait for another scream, or investigate the room for monsters, or just run away. Whatever your choice was, it was all a reaction to this moment psychologically playing with you, which tends to be the angle for most scares in this game. No, not again. Well done, Silent Hill 3. Perfectly executed. Ah! Silent Hill 4 The Room Hauntings. <laughs> Keeping with the title of the game, my scariest moment for Silent Hill 4 is in The Room. What is meant to be the hub of the game, or maybe the safe haven, isn't actually as safe as you might think. During Henry Townsend's journey, he finds that his apartment is slowly being invaded by the other world. This causes various hauntings which we have to face, from cat meat moving in the fridge to portraits being possessed. There's a lot that you need to be prepared for at sudden moments. The hauntings can immediately throw you off and ruin the safety you felt of being at home. Look, it's a decent apartment, nice living room, lovely kitchen, but the six foot bloke coming out the wall is a bit too frightening for me to want to stay here. The hauntings were extremely stressful and overwhelming, and for my specific scariest one, I have to go for the shadow child in the closet. <laughs> Silent Hill Origins, Sad Daddy. Your mother and I will see you in heaven, son. If you're looking to feel overwhelmed and uncomfortable, you've come to the right place. It's established in Origins that Travis has some past issues with his parents. His dad ended his life and this haunts Travis as he feels responsible for it. This memory is manifested into a creature within the Riverside Motel. 
But before that, we see a haunting flashback of his dad's death where he speaks to Travis and picks at his trauma. You knew I wasn't sleeping. I mean, that's already horrific enough, but then we see his dad's body freakishly twitching before transforming and fusing to the wall of the room. This moment seems to capture every nightmare that we've had so far in the series. The overwhelming feeling, the confusion, the intimidation, and the fight that follows with the creature manifested is like, what is that? This moment just makes me feel really uncomfortable and want to get out, but that's exactly what we expect from Silent Hill. Daddy. I won the game. Silent Hill Homecoming, Asphyxia. Say what you like about Homecoming, but the monster designs are undoubtedly frightening. A perfect example of how gross this game really gets is the appearance of Asphyxia. Found in this layer of place, we find Asphyxia behind some fleshy valve, where it pulls Deputy Wheeler inside. Already creepy I know, but what follows is some of the most uncomfortable screams and torturous noises I've heard in Silent Hill. This so far already makes me want to run, but then the valve births this disgusting human centipede-like creature. It's all just a bit vile. I don't care too much about fighting Asphyxia, it's basically just chopping down a meaty tree. But the actual first appearance was a moment of disgust and panic. Imagine how Wheeler must be feeling. Silent Hill Shattered Memories, Drowned and Frozen. Silent Hill Shattered Memories is a charming reimagining of the first Silent Hill, and the only title to have made it on the Nintendo Wii. This means you have to get pretty hands-on with horror. This is exactly the case when we find ourselves underwater and trapped in the car with Dahlia, who is completely frozen over. For those with a fear of drowning, this is probably already a nightmare, but the fact we're in a locked car with a frosty corpse makes things a lot creepier. We need to search for an easy exit, but we're locked in, so what follows is a sequence of panic and desperation as we grab the handles and play with the radio dial? Sure, I guess? This moment stands out beyond the monsters and creepy atmosphere throughout the game, not just because it's so unique, but this is a nightmare scenario I'm sure we've all thought about before. The panic is horrible, and you don't know where to look aside from the writing that appears telling us to stop fighting. <laughs> yeah, excuse my fighting, what else am I meant to do? Silent Hill Downpour, Hillside House. <laughs> Downpour has some epic moments, big chases, monsters, drama, but something it really excels in is those subtle moments of fear. The scariest one of these is in the hillside house, which we can enter through the basement window. This house has all you need from a spooky haunted experience, from the eerie atmosphere of a basement to the distant wailing of a woman. <laughs> The crying is horrible to listen to, and it feels like something can jump out at any moment in this house. With some confidence, though, we can make it upstairs, where we accidentally spark a TV. This causes the woman to stop crying, which is great. Now I'm going to be haunted. Heading downstairs to a newly accessible room, we can find a pistol, yay! Turns out, the smartest thing that we could do is not pick it up. Get me out this house, please. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.